Wait, when you said pot rage, what kind of pot do you mean, Mumbo? Mm -hmm. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Alright, we're gonna make our way up the, up the hill here. To the gate again. We get attacked by Smitty's grave again, are we? Yes, we're gonna get attacked by Smitty's grave, of course. Of course we're gonna get attacked by Smitty's grave. Smitty, get out of here, get away from me. I'm sorry, man. I know you want to take revenge on me. You know, on someone for Spongebob destroying- No, Mr. Krabs destroying your grave and everything, but, but still. You know, like, for the- cost of a freaking hat, but alas, seriously, you can't take it out on a defenseless pumpkin, man. You just can't do that. Alright, so this, we are not done with our pumpkin form, actually, because there's something, there's something more we can do. And this is actually pretty nerve-wracking. Um, because you could literally become pumpkin soup if you don't do this right. You could fall into that lava down there, which I almost did. But yeah, you need to make it across this narrow walkway here, just to get to the end here. And I think we'll be see seeing Brentilda again, actually, when I think of it. Yep, Brentilda's over there. Um, but, but I'm gonna wait until we, until we get what's inside there first before we talk to Brentilda again. And here we go! You go through this, this small tunnel here, and it'll lead to... Da 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 da! Cheeto number two! Cheeto spellbook number two. Cheeto book- Jado Baron Bird have found once more. Another spell they get. If one more page I see you turn, then Grunty shall Cheeto burn! Nasty witch is, so code I shall tell. Enter Red Feathers on Sandcastle Floor in Treasure Trove Cove. Um, we're gonna do that before we enter World 8, but actually... Um, we're not gonna do that quite yet because... You can actually get the third and final Cheeto Spellbook as well before entering World 8, so we're gonna do that as well. Um, before entering World 8, everyone's favorite world in this entire game. And, um, we are going to talk to Brentilda now. This time, everyone, I, I perfected my voice for her. So here it goes. Revolting Gruntilda's bedroom has rotting fish hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, sorry, it's not much better than my own voice, but it's better than that freaking high-pitched voice I was using up until now. That was just ridiculous, man. That was practically an insult to Gruntilda, because Gruntilda's actually good, a nice character. You know, and to give Gruntilda a better voice than her, that's just, that's insulting. She also has a loogie, a loogie bush growing in a pot beside her bed. Filthy old bag. Yeah, because actually, um, it wouldn't surprise me that Lugie would be filling, would be growing a pot. And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous, streaky brown undies. Ah! So, she shits her pants when she has, like, a, a bathroom on the same floor as her... I'm not even gonna... I don't even want to know. Why did... Brintilla have to tell me that. I mean, Brintilla sure knows a lot about her sister. I mean, like, I know they're siblings, but still, that's a lot to know about your sister, all things considered. Monsters chase you. They're hounding. Then you'll get a grunty pounding. Yeah, we already heard that, Gruntilda. Nice one. Can you, can, what, what else is there? What else is new? Can you tell us something new here? Um, well, seriously, so let's get across here and avoid becoming pumpkin suit. Becoming pumpkin suit. Because that would make Mumbo happy, wouldn't it? We can't do what makes Mumbo happy, okay? Just be, you know, for the simple reason that Mumbo is a good character, we cannot make him happy. Mumbo, magic, get weak. Yeah, well, we should use Verizon, not Mumbo magic. We should use Verizon magic, you know? If we use Verizon magic, it will be much more better service than Mumbo magic, I can definitely assure you that. Like, imagine using a cell phone under Mumbo magic plan. Wouldn't that suck? That'd be sucky, that'd be that'd be for sure. But you know what else doesn't but you know what doesn't suck is the fact that we are now no longer in grunts inside Grunty. Over there as you can see. And we still need to get that jiggy right from her right in her eyeball there, yeah, I realize that. It's actually a good thing that we actually um It's a good thing I turned her to look back at Grunty there because I wouldn't notice that jiggy in her eye over there, so let's get that. Let's be getting Grunty's gold, I guess, in her eye. Grunty's gold eye. The easiest way to get to this this jiggy is actually get on top of Gruntilda's hat, and then you can jump onto her nose, hopefully. Yep, and then jump right into her eye and get the jiggy. There we go. 
much better than trying to activate that flying pad again, because I'm pretty I can almost assure you that's definitely not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Alright, everyone. You've been waiting for this. It's time for the world you've all been waiting for. And now I'm gonna do that in the next episode because I'm too scared to do it right now. I can also do that, but at the same time and also I'm also really excited for this. Um Long of Truth and uh, he already said this for you. I'm just gonna interrupt her for the first time ever. Okay, so now that, now that the water's been raised, we can actually do more stuff in here, I think. Can we? Can we do anything else? No, actually, we can't do anything else in here. We still need to raise the water. That's okay. Anyways, we have raised the water high enough into the room of everyone's favorite world. So. That's right, y'all. We be headed over to Rusty Bucket Bay. Alright, let's just do this, y'all. To be honest, I'm actually looking forward to this, and I'll get into that why in the next episode. But for now, let's just activate Rusty Bucket Bay so we can get in there in the next episode. I can almost I can, I'm guessing you guys are really excited for that episode, aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't blame you, honestly. And seriously, Chompas? Yes, as you can see, Chompas are making a return for Rusty Bucket Bay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. No big surprise at all. Be nice if I can kill them though. Because if I can't kill them outside the world, what's what's like what does that say for inside the world? Yeah. Probably not a good sign at all. Alright. So anyways, to get to Rust to activate Rusty Bucket Bay, the first thing you must do is get across these crates here. And you'll discover a rareware box because rareware can't get enough of, you know, in-game advertisements. And hit this other switch. You know, because they want to bury that first one, because nobody ever wanted to think to look at Rusty Bucket Bay, and I don't blame them. But yeah. By hitting that switch, we raise the water high enough to where we can actually access the puzzle for Rusty Bucket Bay, which is in there. Um, but... First of all, let's activate this cauldron. This, this cauldron is not really much of a shortcut, it's probably the smallest shortcut in the, uh, in the game, but it just takes you outside back to where Cortilla's head is. And actually, there's one more thing we can do. There's one more thing, I think. Get that, yeah, we got the Momo token over there. And actually, there's, as you can see, there's another place we can enter over there. Another um, entryway. And there's actually something we can get in there, believe it or not. And we are going to do that now. Yes, that's, that's right, folks. We're going to get this over with now. Because... This will make Rusty Bucket Bay slightly easier, but still, nonetheless, no matter what codes you use in Rusty Bucket Bay, it's going to be a tough level nonetheless, you know, because there's always something that can kill you, and there's one room, there's one particular room in Rusty Bucket Bay where no Chico can save you, none at all whatsoever, and we're going to see that cheat code here in a little bit, but for now, first of all, let's go up here. I'm sorry, not that Chico, that room, yeah. And not the room, no, definitely not that horrible movie, but you get the idea. So this is the third water raising switch, and we get 30 seconds, and this one only lasts for 30 seconds, and you need to, in those 30 seconds, get to the other room where Rusty Bucket Bay is, and then you want to, as soon as you get inside the room, as fast as you can, swim up. Like, do the opposite of what Marlin tells, tells you to do in, you know, Finding Nemo. And Gil, you know, Mar Marlin and Gil. If you think I'm rather soft, I'll be waiting in the loft. Why do you always have to say that, Grunty? We get the idea. All right, well, we made it just in time. And if you do make it just in time, you will make it up to the third and final cheat book. Yes, that's right, folks. Baron Bird getting good at finding Cheeto. So another spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck, so in the burning fire, I'll chuck. Find Cheeto which won't, code you must enter on Sandcastle floor, and treasure trove code is gold feathers. Yes, that's right folks. Not only are we doubling the amount of blue eggs and red feathers we can get, but also gold feathers. Which is not really that much, you're just gonna be able to have 20 now, but still. Any amount counts. Any amount of gold feathers, it, it definitely counts. I can assure you that. Anything we can, that we need to get, like in that in the third water level one last time? I just want to make sure, because I don't want to miss any mumbo tokens. There could be one that you get from being in the um, third 
you know, third level of water. Which I don't think there is, actually. So, anyways, now it's time to activate Rusty Bucket Bay. And then I guess another thing we'll do, one, lastly, before entering Rusty Bucket Bay, because I want to make it so we have nothing left to do but enter Rusty Bucket Bay in the next episode. So, um, first things first, let's go activate the, the world itself. So here we go. The puzzle for Rusty Bucket Bay is actually probably the closest one to the world itself. Actually, no, Mumbo's so... I think Mumbo's Mountain is slightly cu closer, but still. Yes, the puzzle for Rusty Bucket Bay is just one room over. Here it is, y'all. That opens the door to... Shock, 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 Rusty Bucket Bay. Yeah, I've got some things to say about this world, and actually some things that might surprise you guys as well, but... I'm not even going to say it, because it would be repeating the exact same thing over and over again. But what's at the end of this thing? I think there's like a mumbo token at the end of this passageway here, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I must trust my stake, if that's the case. There isn't. There's nothing at the end of this, just the view of the room that has the Mad Monster Mansion puzzle in it, that's it? Okay. Well, it would've been nice if they at least put a mumbo token there. It would've been nice. It been very nice. That's fine. I don't care at all. Let's just... Let's just go activate those cheats before I forget to, okay? So, off to Treasure Trove Cove. I'm just gonna teleport there because I don't think you guys need to see me, you know, going back down there. Okay, here we are. Oh, hey, buddy. What's up? Hey, pal. Buddy, old pal. Buddy, 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 old pal. Buddy, 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 pal. Like to peck me. I mean, actually not really peck me, but more like, you know. What? Would you die, please, buddy, 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 buddy? Okay, enough of that. Enough of that shite. Okay, time for the red feathers cheat. Let's do this, y'all. Yes, I'm going to save the gold feathers cheat for last because it is the bomb. Okay, so red. And don't skip any letters this time, man, dude. Seriously, don't repeat your mistakes. Don't repeat your stakes. Alright. Okay, so E A. E A T H. H E E I like how they put the E, -R -E and the R and the S right next to this. Bear and Bird get 100 red feathers. 100 maximum now is. All my feathers? It makes me sick. Why to me? Your butt I'll kick. Man, never get tired of it, man. Never get tired of it. Alright, time for gold feathers. 20 gold feathers you get, new maximum 20 is. Gold feathers you may have 20, but bruises you'll still ha get plenty. Alright, Gruntilde, I guess you can't have enough of that rhyming now, can you? Alright, y'all, so, um, those are, actually those aren't, those aren't all the cheats the game is going to give you, but there are several other cheats. Um, that we are going to try out um, at the end of this Let's Play. But just know that the cheats that I've entered so thus far um, are not the only only cheats that the game gives you. And even though those are the only che Cheeto books, but still. Yeah, there's three Cheeto books, three cheats that the game gives you directly. Um, there's also like um, six other cheats that the game gives you, sort of, but you have to actually like find a secret or something in the game. It's really early on. Can't you get here any faster? Come and fight me! I'm the master! Well, that's alright, Grunty. We will get there faster as soon as we end off this episode, because that means the next episode, we will be starting off... Rusty Bucket Bay. So, anyone? I mean, so, everyone? I hope you're excited, because next episode is it, y'all. Rusty Bucket Bay. I've said the name of the level enough times, so let's end off this episode here with treading- with us treading water in preparation for what is to come next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. So I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching, and next episode, y'all, let's do this. Let's get on with this. Bye.